Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you are new to my channel, I'm Pauline G. Lee. So I have another question from Christelle and she was asking about centre folds. And the question was a little bit confusing so I'm trying to dissect it up a little bit. So the question was about, she didn't understand whether she needs to cut into a centre fold. So I'm going to explain that a little bit more for her. I'm assuming she's a beginner. So this is what you need to do when you are first starting out in fashion sewing. When it comes to laying your pattern pieces onto fabrics, usually, not always, we need to fold our fabrics in half. So we've got a, a full length, full width of fabric, and then we fold it in half like so and what happens is that we create a fold so when we're talking about putting pattern pieces on a fold so this will be your, your full fabric you fold it in half like so and on that fold is where you put your pattern pieces if your pattern pieces says place on the um, on the fold line that is what that is what it means it means place your pattern piece on the fold on the opposite end it will be open and, and that, those are the salvages, that, um, that is the finished edges of the fabric. So when you come across those pattern wording on a pattern piece, it means place that pattern piece on the fold. So once you cut that out on the fold, you don't cut down the fold line, because what you want to create is a full pattern piece. So for example, if you have a center front bodice and a center back bodice, you usually have no, full, no seam line down the front of the centre front of the bodice but you have a seam line at the back and um, sometimes it can be in, 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 in the side seams as well in order to put a fastening because you have to get in and out of garments but you can also have it at the front but usually more often than not you will find the centre of the bodice on the fold of fabric and the centre back will be um, perhaps beside it but usually the centre back will be in two pieces and the centre front will be in one piece. Now with that being said, you can also put the centre um, front onto the fold and if you need, and if it has in the pattern a um, an allowance for fastening, then what you can do then is cut the fold line so that you have two pieces instead of one. So that is what centre fold means is that you put pattern pieces onto the fold so you can create one full pattern piece instead of a half a pattern because usually most sewing patterns are half just half of the bodice um, half of the skirt or um, they don't usually have half of the pants do you one leg front one leg for the back and um, when it comes to jackets you'd have just one pattern piece for the front and it can be one or two for the back so it really just all depends but what i'm trying to say to you is that the the reason why we have a fold is so that you can create one full pattern piece now the video that she put a comment on um which is quite an old video as well um there was uh, there were other information on the pattern pieces within the pattern itself and it mentions fold line so what happens when you find um, the markings on your pattern it's usually on the edge waist where it says put on the center front line or the center fold line that's what you need to do but when it happens what i've just talked about but when it's asking for to fold um, lines within a pattern piece it's usually just to make the pattern smaller or you may find it's an instruction for a detail within the pattern where it's asking you to fold and once you have cut the pattern piece out then it's asking you to fold when it's usually a feature within a garment or when you want to make a garment smaller and it's asking you to fold use that new fold within a pattern then that is just to fold the pattern piece before you put it onto fabric so hopefully I haven't confused you too much with what I've just told you and I hope that it's given you enough information for you to Go on, go on and um, yeah, cut out your sewing projects and hope you have an amazing outfit. So those are the, um, 
yeah, those are the questions um, or question that I've made into several questions that I've hopefully answered for um, Christelle and one or two other questions within that as well, just about the bold lines within the fabrics. So um, yeah, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll know when I upload videos. And also, if you have a question that you want me to answer, please put it in the comment box below. And yeah, and I will see you next time.